Yeah. Hey cats, on April 4th we'll be beginning the door decor contest. Your teacher will discuss and your class will be create a blueprint for the theme which best represents your class. You may get started on April 4th, but you'll have till April 11th to actually put the design on butcher paper and then hang it up on the door. Student Gov members will be taking pictures and coming around to each door and deciding which one is the most creative. Good luck cats. Are you a freshman, sophomore, junior and interested in joining student government? If so, come pick up a Kenda application packet here at the activities office. Packets will be available later this week. Hope to see you guys next year. I know, I'm certainly glad I joined student government. <laughs>
At 5 p.m., we have boys varsity basketball, Westview at Hillsborough, and at 8 p.m., we have girls varsity lacrosse, Westview is at Tualatin High School. Uh, on Friday, March 23rd, at 5 p.m., we have girls varsity softball. Westview is at Tualatin. At 8 p.m., we have boys varsity lacrosse. Westview at Liberty. And at 9 p.m., we have girls varsity lacrosse. Sherwood at Westview. That's all your sports for today, cats. Hey, Westview, welcome back to the top four things you need to know in the world today. Starting off at number four, Stephen Hawking dies at age 76 from ALS. He was well known for his books and theories on the universe's many mysteries and was a major scholar at Cambridge University. Number three, tensions have risen between the UK and Russia after an ex-Russian spy and his daughter were attacked with a nerve agent. Russia has not responded to the accusations presented by the British government, asking to see samples of the chemical before responding. Number two, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson has been recently fired by President Trump and is being replaced by CIA Director Mike Pompeo right before a historic meeting with North Korea. And number one, a national school walkout happened on March 14th, something that Westview was also a part of. And it's exactly a month after a gunman stormed a Florida high school and killed 17 people. That's what's happening in the world today, cats. Okay, hi, I'm Miss Loomis, and I cannot wait to read The Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adiemi over spring break. Hi, my name's Kenneth Scott, and you should read Never Quit by Jimmy Settle over spring break. Hey guys, I'm Evan, and you should read The Incarceron by Catherine Fisher. Hey, I'm Trini, and you should read Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda for this spring break. Hi, I'm Reese, and you should read Stick by Andrew Smith over this spring break. Hey cats, I'm Julia, and you should read Life as We Do It. Uh, my name is John, and you guys should read This World We Live In. It's the third sequel of the book. This is by Susan Best Fipper. And you guys should read this third spring break. Hi, I'm Joseph Flagg, and you should read The Crossover by Kwame Alexander. Hi, I'm Marlene Pierce, and this is Falling Over Sideways by Jordan Sonnenblick. Hey guys, I'm Nissa. You should read Blue Rage Black Redemption by Stanley Tookie Williams this spring break. I'm Jacob, and you should read The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. Hey, I got a great book for you to read over break. This is called Born a Crime. Uh, it's Trevor Noah from The Daily Show. Uh, his memoir, it's an excellent book. Hi Westview, my name is Ms. Neely, and I hope you're going to be reading over spring break. We also would love to have your titles that you would like to see in book clubs next year in your English classes. There is a box that looks like this in the library and one in Lower North Teacher Cluster and um, we need those titles by the end of today. Thanks Westview.